Trump's wife, Melania, is now in the spotlight, the subject of a long piece in the New York Times last week in the fashion and style section. The story not breaking any new ground, really, but mostly uh, nice things to say about Mrs. Trump. But the paper with the motto, All the News is Fit to Print, had, about, uh, had to reprint about half a dozen retractions after they got several really basic things wrong, including these. An earlier version of the article misstated her age. The article also might misidentified a presidential debate that she attended. Joined now by Deneen Butter... She said, good morning. Chief political correspondent for Conservative Review and a Fox News contributor. And Basil Smichael Jr. is political strategist and executive director of the New York State Democratic Party. I mean, it was pretty nice, but, you know, they didn't hesitate to point out the sort of, you know, nude thing that she did on the airplane when she was, you know, before they were married and, you know, sort of point out that she's a model and, you know, suggest in several ways that she's basically, you know, pretty and not that smart was a suggestion. Uh, I think it's fair to say, Denise. Oh, well, listen, you remember what they did to Sarah Palin, the media, how they went after her on the least little thing, even went after her family. Uh, with Melania, she's uh, she's a model. She's a businesswoman. She's educated. She's also gorgeous. And listen, sex sells. That's not a secret. And so, you know, I'm sure this generated a lot of uh, sale, print sales for the newspaper when they printed about her anytime they talk about her. Yeah. You know, I think about Carla Bruni, you think about um, the Chinese uh, president's wife is a celebrity in China. Um, you know, what's wrong with that? Well, I think, you know, you have to be careful because you you can come across, across in many ways as being uh, very sexist in, in some of the coverage. And I remember actually a lot of uh, back when Hillary Clinton was first lady, they compared her a lot to Barbara Bush. Um, there were a lot of comparisons between Hillary and, uh, and uh, Laura Bush. And even in the coverage of Michelle Obama, they talked about not just what she wore, but her physical, uh, how she looked physically in her arms and so on and so on, which yeah. I thought was really uh, crossed over into territory we should not be in because Bill Clinton's does. not being covered that way no, of uh, in terms of his suits and his size you know, and, and his I, shoes. And I do think so, because she's an attractive you know. woman and former model, you know, she she gets sort of treated in a in a different light. She's had you know business interests as well. She's very traditional. I mean, I think this might kind of. Uh, come back to be positive for her because I think people might kind of try to defend her. She doesn't, you know, she doesn't have a big political um, perspective, at least not that we've heard. And she says, you know, basically my first job is to take care of my son. My tra my husband travels all the time and she's, she's pretty traditional. Right. Um, so let's take a look at some comments that we want to play here by Joe Biden. Oh, no. Well, you know what? Before we do that, let's watch this because it was just watch this Trump thing and see what you think at home. We'll get a quick thought on it. I asked Melania to be here tonight to help me clear up some of the lies that those losers and morons are saying about me. Like that I hate women. How can I hate women when I've got the world's greatest woman right here? Yes, Donald loves women. You know, he always saying, that woman is knockout. That woman is a 10. That woman used to be a 10, but hey, she's still a 7. He always twists his words, like with immigration. Clearly, I don't hate immigrants. <laughs> All right, it was funny, right? That's I mean, it was pretty funny. funny. Um, and Trump has, you know, rushed to her defense, talked about what a beautiful woman she is and what a good mother she is and all of that. So we'll see how this shakes out for Melania Trump. So, so far, people have not even scratched the surface of the other first potential spouses out there. And there's, you know, lots of stories that we'll see along in the same vein, I would imagine. Um, let, let's play this uh, from Joe Biden, because we want to get this and get your thoughts on it as well. Um, Joe Biden speaking about the Republican presidential candidates. And here's what he said. The American people are already with you. Look at the numbers. There, there's homophobes still left. Most of them are running for president, I think. Gotta love Joe Biden. What do you think? You know, I listen, I, I love the fact that Joe Biden is unplugged. And I think people that support Joe Biden love that also. Um, if you look at the candidates he's talking about, I mean, Ben Carson they said um, with respect to uh, with respect to being gay that people go into prison and come out gay. He made comments that compared, put uh, gay people in the same sentence as bestiality. So, I mean, when you're talking about that type of rhetoric, then I think Joe Biden's on point. Good name. I think this is about Joe Biden uh, taking votes away from Hillary and also going after the money by him mentioning uh, these comments, uh, the homophobe comments, which which pretty dated. Uh, that kind of tells where where his mind is because it's this kind of it's really an offensive term. 
But he's going after the dollars. I believe Gaines uh, contributed something like over a million dollars during the 2014 election, and over 75 percent of them voted for President Obama. So he's trying to chip away from the votes and from the money from Hillary for himself. Yeah, like, he hasn't even declared I think, right. that and I think he can uh, tap into Hillary's base on this yeah. issue. He was the first uh, between Hillary yeah. and President Obama to come out in favor of same-sex marriage, and he wants to remind everybody of that. But And on the substance, I think he's right. You know, you've got um, Huckabee and uh, Santorum and others saying that they will not uh, follow the Supreme Court's decision and basically you know, flout the law of the land right now. I mean, those are pretty strong statements coming from people that are, are hoping to be sworn to uphold the law of the United States of America. And so when you look at that and Joe Biden standing up in front of an audience and saying, you know, here are the people that are trying to represent you. We do not need this kind of representation in the United that kind States. Of hurt Republicans and, listen, what, what the left does all the time is use the scare tactics. He's really trying to gen up the base the, the, the gay voters. Next, you'll be hearing about the race card. I'm ticking down for that to see when that's going to happen. And then also, listen, he's got the union support behind him. I really think he could take Hillary out if he decides to run because he's much more likable. He's more blunt. He's forceful in his message. He's not hiding like Hillary is when it comes he to loves being coming out, out in the media. So, loves yeah, being so out I think there. he loves could do campaigning it. Um, and is joyful in it. So uh, we will see. Interesting. Thank you very much. Thank Always Thanks. a pleasure to have both of you here. We'll see yeah. you next time.